because it's impossible to put um, to to have a piece of paper that properly um, state the distance between two cities. Sometimes we scale things. We would put them on a paper, but we would put it on a certain scale so we can represent exactly what we what we want. So let's say you have two cities that are 500 miles away. You can scale it down to make it a few inches. And this problem, this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to scale some, some uh, two cities. Uh, we're going to try to find a distance between them in real life. So let me show you what, what, what we're talking about here. So it says uh, on a map, the scale is the ratio of the distance shown on the map to the actual distance. It, uh, a geographic teacher has a map on her wall with the scales of one inch to a hundred miles. She uses the school's copier to shrink the large wall map down to the size of a piece of paper and hand out each of her student and hand out to each of her students. To do this, she makes the map one fourth of its original size. Suppose the student's map, suppose on the student's map the distance between two cities is 2.5 inches. How many actual miles apart are those cities? So what happened is, is uh, she had a she had a a, a, a map on her wall which is kind of big, maybe the size of this board probably. So she had that 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 map on her wall, what the scale of that map was one inch to a hundred miles. So what this means is, and if, you, if you're familiar with reading map, with GPS now, we don't even read map anymore. I'll be honest with you, I don't. Um, so if you're familiar with reading map, so what this means is every time something in real life is a hundred miles, they're representing on, on the map that she has on her wall as one inch. So if something is 200 miles on the wall, it will be represented by two inches. But because what? Because the wall is not big enough to take, to, to represent correctly, uh, I would say, uh, I would say accurately to represent exactly what they have with the distance between two cities. There's no way you can have a wall that has a, uh, you know, you can have a wall on, in a classroom that's 100 miles. Uh, that's probably impossible. So the best way to do it is scale the things down. So one inch on the wall is represented actually by 100 miles. So what happened? What else did she do? She, and she could have just take the map down on the wall and give it to her students. So what she did is she, she said, okay, I'm going to go use the copier, the copy machine. I am going to reduce further the size of this map. So what she did is she made the map a quarter of its size. So one, one, one quarter of the map on the wall. On the wall. So this, this is what the students have to, um, have to work with. So what they, ha what they have is, so one quarter of a map on the wall. So the paper, the relation between the paper, so the paper, so first, the wall map is one inch, 100 miles. Because she couldn't give each student the wall map, she used a copy machine to reduce that a quarter of its size. So, so that means the map on the paper that the students get when they're reading is a quarter of the map on the wall. So that means the relationship between the paper, um, the paper map, and uh, and and, and the, in real life is a quarter of an inch to a hundred miles. And another way to explain that is the relationship between the wall map and the paper is one inch to a quarter of an inch. And then if we want the relationship between the, the, 
the paper in real life, so we have a quarter of an inch to a um, hundred miles. So that means every time something is is uh, is um, is one inch on the on the wall, it's represented by a quarter of an inch on the paper. So, all right. So, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Um, let's see. So what else did they tell us? They tell us that two cities, uh, the distance between two cities on the student's map is 2.5 miles. 2.5 miles. I'm going to do the step by step for you to understand exactly what I'm saying. So distance between, let me, let me put this, um, the distance between two cities on, on the student's map is 2.5, not miles, it should have been miles, inches. 2.5 inches. All right, so how do we find, how do we find the distance between, um, you know, 2.5 inches, yes. How do we find the distance between inches? How do we find the distance between, in real life, of this thing, of this 2.5 inches? So on the map, on the, on the student's map, on the paper map, it's 2.5 inches. So what does that mean? So if we reduce... If we reduce the 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 student map by a quarter, so that means on the paper wall we have four times as much. So what, what I'm saying is, if we so because the paper wall is too big for the students to put on their desk, she reduced that by four. When we have 2.5 inches. On the wall, on the paper, that should correspond to four times as much on the wall. The other way to think about that is one inch on the paper uh, one I mean one inch, a quarter of an inch on the paper. is exactly equal to one inch on the wall, right? A quarter of an inch on the paper is exactly corresponds to one inch on the wall. 2.5 inches on the paper will corresponds to x. So we can cross multiply how much, how, how many inches we have on the, on, the, on the paper, how many inches that corresponds to on the wall, inches, we have 2.5 multiplied by one, which is 2.5, divided by a quarter, 2.5 divided by 1 fourth, which is, that corresponds to 2.5. When you divide by a fraction, it's kind of multiplying by the inverse of the fraction, 4 over 1, which is 10 inches on the wall. So that 2.5 inches that they have on the paper, it really corresponds to 10 inches on the wall. But they want to know, they don't ask us what it corresponds to on the wall. They want to know the actual distance between those cities. So we got to go back to real life. What real life is, one inch on the wall is 100 miles. So let's, 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 let's use this space here for a second. I think I can erase this. So let me put this up. A little bit up. So one inch on the wall is a hundred miles. So one inch on the wall is corresponds to a hundred miles. So by the way, two point five. Yeah. So and then what we have here? Ten inches, right? Ten inches on the wall. That corresponds to x. So what do we do? X is equal to cross multiply. One inch on the wall times, I mean, 10 inches on the wall times 100 miles divided by one inch on the wall. And, and then when you cross multiply, you just multiply this by this, divided by, so x is equal to this multiplied by this, uh, 10 multiplied by 100 divided by 1. So Simplify, 10 times 100, x equals to 1,000 miles. I was trying to explain this a little bit. Um, I was trying to find a, 
uh, a good way to extend this to you. That's why it takes so long. Usually it doesn't take this long. So a, hun uh, a thousand miles is what we're looking for as answer. That answer is J. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please share it on your page. You'll help a lot of kids taking the ACT, the SAT, and any other standardized test. Thank you very much. That was a good one. Thanks. Bye.